Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I got a video talking about the um, Los Santos um, Drug Wars, The Last Dose, or commonly referred to as Drug Wars Part 2, um, which is coming out on March 16th. And I'm going to react to this, break down some of the stuff, show you guys uh, what I think of this, and show you guys some of the locations that I think are going to appear in the DLC. But anyways, Los Santos Drug Wars, the last dose coming March 16th. We got a poster here, which I will come back to the poster in a little bit because there's a few things that I want to point out here. Uh, but anyways, let's take a look at this. Um, Los Santos Drug Wars, the last dose coming March 16th. Read the bottom of the psychedelic rabbit hole in five uh, new story uh, missions. The saga of GTA Online Los Santos Drug Wars reaches its eye-popping conclusion with an explosion of hallucinations, kidnappings, and revenge in the last dose. Dax always knew knew the powers, but um, uh, that B uh, were going to push back, and now the Fooligans will need all the help they can get. Reach the bottom of the rabbit hole in five new story missions to reveal the mysterious connection between Los Santos' illicit drug trade and the pharmaceutical industry. As Dr. Isaiah Friedlander returns to the fray to wreak havoc in this mind-bending and twisted finale. Los Santos Drug War, the last dose, will be available to all. Okay, talk about March 16. If you haven't taken the plunge yet, meet up with Nervous Ron. And, okay, and this is just talking about the, um, the previous, uh, uh, you know, the previous DLC. But anyways, let's take a look at this trailer and, um... I'm going to just basically skip through it on frames because if I um if I play it then it's gonna I'm probably gonna get a, a copyright claim here because this you know take to interact is ridiculous with these claims, but you know s starting off here we see like you know the sky turning different colors. This is probably the hallucination. So you know we had that hallucination mission in the um, Drug Wars Part One, and so we're probably gonna have, out of the five star missions there'll probably be one where you're on some kind of drugs or something and you're seeing aliens and you know some other stuff. Okay, last dose. Okay, so you know here we um uh, we see some uh, uh, here we see some kind of looks like doctors, you know, pharmaceutical people, you know, making something. Which I'm questioning whether there's going to be an extra business added to this. I don't think there's going to be any extra business. I think this is going to be purely for a story mission because if there was an extra business to this, I think then that we would have um uh we would have been told about that at least in the description or the trailer would have shown it. But this is probably Dr. Friedlander's people. That's probably what's going on here. And so here, uh, you know, we see Labrat. Um he has been uh, captured by Dr. Friedlander's people. Again, this is probably part of the hallucinations, so there's going to be a um, probably a hallucination mission. And Dax, the RPG, this is actually from the leak cutscene, so there actually was a few leak cutscenes. And um, uh, one of them, you actually see, um, uh, you do actually see Dax with an RPG. Now this right here, this is the new um, uh, car, it's an electric supercar. This is the um, uh, Virtue, this car right here. And this freed uh, mind therapeutics. So it looks like Dr. Friedlander is um, selling some kind of therapeutics now. Now, um, apparently Dr. Friedlander had gotten really famous, which we're going to talk about that in a little bit. And here, you know, we see floating, um, uh, floating hamburgers. Again, this is probably going to be part of the hallucination mission. And um, uh, this is probably a story mission. So you see a lot of different, you know, um, cars driving around here. It looks like custom cars, and they're being chased by a helicopter. Again, see Lab Rat and the UFO. UFO is probably um, uh, probably part of um, the hallucinations again. Um, here we see Dax's um, RV, but um, here we have a new car. Also, the this is the Boer. And we see guns as well. So I'm curious how this is going to fit into this. It's kind of looking like a business, but if it was a business, I think they would have told us, right? They would have they would have at least written that in the description. And here we have Dr. Friedlander. Um, so we see we see Dr. Friedlander again. Let me see if I can just get that frame right of him here. Okay, yeah, so Dr. Friedlander, and these look like his people here. Now, um, Dr. Friedlander, doesn't, it doesn't look like he's aged at all. Um, you know, kind of weird, because GTA Online takes place in 2023 now, and GTA 5 took place in 2013, so Dr. Friedlander would be 10 years older, so you'd think that these characters would age a little bit, but he hasn't aged at all. 
Now here, this part, I don't know what's going on. This is probably a story mission here, but I wonder what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to like ram into the plane or what's what's going on? Because that's the only thing that I can really think of. I think, um, I think actually, actually, wait, I think this mission actually was leaked um, or earlier. I think there actually is a mission where you actually ram into the plane. Yes, I believe that's what happens. And the reason is because this is the Vellum, which the Vellum is not a militarized plane. So it looks like you're going to be in the Vellum and you're going to be chasing the cargo plane. So curious what you're going to be doing with that specifically. Um, but um, let me talk about a few things here. Um, so let me go back here. And uh, you guys see, uh, so what we see here in the trailer. Let's start off here, or, or, or the art, I should say. The uh, aliens, the hamburgers, probably, you know, the hallucination mission, whatever that's going to be. This is Luchadora. Um, she didn't play, she barely actually played a role in the, um, in Drug Wars Part 1. She just appeared in the background in a few cutscenes, barely did anything under, um, so I'm really hoping that they utilize this character more, because she's a character with a lot of wasted potential, so hopefully she, you know, plays a greater role. Um, these guys right here, these guys are Dr. Friedlander's people, so these are the people that work for Dr. Friedlander, um, uh, and this, this is the GTA Online protagonist, most likely. GTA Online protagonist art changes a lot of times. Here we got Dax and RPG and Lab Rat, and, you know, we got an alien costume. Now, one thing that a lot of people aren't um, pointing out is this building right here. This building is very important right here, this one here. And actually, we even see it in the trailer. Let me show you guys where the building actually is in the trailer. Um, here, hold on one second. Because that building actually was in the trailer as well, um, that you see in the artwork. I think I missed it earlier. Okay, let's see here. I think it's the part with the hamburgers. Okay, yeah. So I know you guys can't see see it that well. The hamburger is blocking most of the um most of the shot, but that building is right here. It's, it's right here. So the one from the trailer. This it's literally uh, the one from the art is literally right down here. And um right now I'm actually gonna show you guys the place right now. Let's take a look at it. The building that you actually see in the um, uh, trailer and you also see it in the artwork is this place right here. This is where it is on the map. So it's North Los Santos. It's a pretty significant structure and it's actually called the Parsons Rehabilitation Center. So it's basically a rehab place, place where people go to get clean of drugs. Now, this, this building, like I said, has not really had that much interaction in GTA 5 and in GTA Online. Sometimes you do deliver things here for certain missions or you pick something up from here, but you never really have had a significant mission in this location. And, you know, if we run around here, we're able to see that there is a tennis court, there is actually a swimming pool, and there's actually offices for a lot of the, di the different doctors. And, like I said, my best guess is that I think Dr. Friedlander is going to be in charge of this clinic. I clinic. I think that Dr. Friedlander has taken over this clinic. And even if we look at the board, we actually see that the, the place doesn't really look like it actually cares about the, the, its patients. Like, it tells its patients to hate themselves. So, yeah, that's not, not, good, not good advice here. So, it's pretty much a for-profit clinic. And Dr. Friedlander is probably going to be the guy that's running this place. Really curious to see how it's going to be put into the storyline. There might be a new interior in this place also. Um, also, an office might be updated with Dr. Friedlander's name on it. So... My best guess is that Dr. Friedlander is going to be running this rehab place. That's what I think. And I think the rehab place is probably going to be a front for his drugs. That's what I think, at least. Um, uh, you guys saw the rehab place. Doesn't look like they're really there to help people. So the rehab place, you know, it's, it's a pretty significant building that we've seen in GTA 5 and GTA Online. There was a few times when you had to go there for certain missions, like deliveries and stuff like that. But you never really had anything specific um, at that place, like a specific mission mission there. And so that's what we'll see it. These guys, you know, these guys, the white, you know, uh, shirts, these guys are probably assistants that probably work at the rehab clinic. That's at least what I think. They are working directly for Friedlander at that rehab clinic. Now, what we're going to talk about with Friedlander here, we're going to talk about how his story ended exactly. Um, so right now, let me actually play you guys. Um, this is from my GTA 5 single player, you know, um, playthrough when I played it last year. And this is actually the last interaction that you had with Dr. Freelander as Michael. And I actually, um, I did that in the very final part of my playthrough right after I beat the story mode. And um, uh, you can see that Dr. Freelander has always been a scumbag. He's always been a pretty, you know, bad guy. And um, he's not really interested in helping Michael. And he actually tries to get famous off of Michael. 
Now, most people kill him, but what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually spare him. And I've always said it that I consider sparing him the canon ending, and the reason I consider it the canon ending because it shows that Michael has moved on, because through the entire storyline, Michael is just constantly getting pissed off, he's constantly killing somebody, getting into crime, and so that part at the end... Dr. Friedlander, you know, even though he's been scamming Michael, just the fact that Michael lets that go just shows that he's finally moved on and that Michael has changed. So that's why I've always considered it canon that Dr. Friedlander survived. But anyways, let me play you guys that. That's the scene with Dr. Friedlander, and you guys see what kind of scumbag he is. And I'll also show you guys um, from my play through the emails that he sends you at the end if you do spare him. Abandonment issues. I think it's perfect to do this final well, session Michael, here. I see you're back around and you finish the game. Your mental health Michael gets his family back together. Mm. His conflict with Trevor is what over. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. I just... I just want... I want something that isn't this. You know? This caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad. Love my family. You know, live the dream. But at the same time, I really want the other stuff, too. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy, you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses. No, I hadn't considered that. So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. You know what, Doc? I'm okay. Things have finally come together for me. I mean, I made a bunch of money, and the most of those score. guys that wanted me gone, <laughs> they don't want nothing no more. <clears throat> well, I'm not gonna pretend that my life's not still a mess. I mean, I know I still got a long way to go. You know, with my family friends, my aspirations. I mean, I know. I've done a lot of bad things, Doc. I told a lot of lies. But he doesn't Doc, seem to care. I'm hopeful. Uh oh, uh, mm. Don't hide behind hope, Michael. Hope is the enemy of hard work. Any other acting out friend? Tell me. I happen to feel I'm making real progress, Doc. No major acting out. Well, not too much. I had a, you know, a freak out or two, but hey, I'm feeling better. Remember, Michael, denial is the cornerstone of relapses. You're not a well man. I'm gonna reject this advice because Michael has is actually being very truthful in this point. He's not Silence speaks volumes. It was a fuck up, Doc. I'm still a good guy underneath. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? Look, I made a few mistakes, Doc. Pretty bad ones, but the last few days, I've been a lot better. Explosions. <laughs> well, I suppose you seeing the problems you cause is progress of a sort. So I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's. Incredible stuff. I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror. The thing is, Michael, here, can we just get a quick photo together? Jeez. What is this? I really think I can't treat you anymore. The fact is, I'm in love with you. What the fuck are you talking okay, about? Okay, well, that's, that's not true. <laughs> Good. You're learning. Good. What's going on? Nothing. It just... You see Dr. Friedlander's true character. colors here right now. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be famous. <laughs> Think of the fucking tale. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. Oh, <laughs> they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You! Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. He's going to be making a TV show Fine about now. Michael. And his therapy sessions, clear violation of doctor-patient confidentiality. Don't you want to be famous? Hey, everybody wants to be famous. It's a primal urge. Not in that way. Take out Dr. Friedlander or let him go.
Now, if you actually catch up to him, Michael will say some few more dialogue. Now, when it's blinking red and blue like that, it means that you can let him go, or you can kill him. Hey, I'm a nice person! You gotta tell people that! You wanted me to listen to your problems? Now the whole country will listen to your problems. He's been manipulating Michael the whole you, time. You prick. He doesn't, uh, he's never cared for Michael as a patient, the my worst kind of therapist. Says you can't prove defamation. That's my life! Come back here, asshole! Yeah, he's gonna have a hard time driving now. Stop and think about it. Deep breaths. Calm, calm. Hey, those ain't your secrets to sell. There, he's pretty much done. He's not gonna get away. Cubehead! This kind of exposure will push you to the help you need. Oh, you can't throw him out. He doesn't you let you. Fucking head trigger. Now, that's how you work through an issue. That's it. Doctor Friedlander is done. That was the final therapy session with him, and you find out that not only was he scamming Michael out of all the money, he wasn't ever helping Michael with his problems, never gave any kind of real advice. He was also um, uh, secretly, re secretly recording Michael, trying to make a TV show around his life, um, just to make him make himself even more rich. Um, what an absolute scumbag. But let me show you guys what happens if you actually spare him. So this is the article that you get if Dr. Friedlander ends up dead. Psycho Shrink Dead. Frank Edwards, Los Santos Meteor. Dr. Isaiah Friedlander, radio host and author who rose to prominence recently, was killed yesterday in the murder police are calling suspicious. Dr. Friedlander, who recently won great fame thanks to his bestseller about his relationship with an idiotic, if terrifying and amusing, deluded sociopath and apparently retired bank robber, he codenames Marky De Santos. No one has yet identified the real Mr. DeSantos, and people are unsure if he, if he is alive. Only last week, Dr. Friedlander spoke to an audience about the futility of trying to work with the criminally insane and deluded. He argued that some people are truly beyond help. It seems that certainly, uh, someone certainly wanted their money back, although whether it was for the book or the treatment remains very unclear. I think the best line Michael says is when he says to Dr. Friedlander when he's chasing him, he says, I poured my heart out to you and my wallet. I want to be good, Doc, I really do. But then I get angry. Hmm. Anything else? Anything sexual? So you see, what? even if you accept his advice, he doesn't You're give you any... Out, Michael! Don't act out! He doesn't give you any actual advice. So we're just gonna let him go here. If you actually let him go, he tries to contact you afterwards. So after a few days, you will actually get this email from Dr. Friedlander. Let's both try to move forward, okay, pal? Dear Michael, listen. I know you're probably more than a little upset with me about the way I've acted, and I can't say I'm necessarily proud of myself, but the fact is, with my new television show and the radio special, I can help so many more people. I have, uh, uh, have you heard it, by the way? I've received a lot of fan mail. I'm going on a date tonight with a listener. She's a little young, uh, young for me, I'm afraid. Oh my god. Anyway, I want you to know that I really value the work we did together in the book I wrote and the show. I'm hosting our testament in effect. You really should be very proud of yourself. You helped me so much, and I know I helped you. Your friend, Isaiah Friedlander. Has no right to call him his friend. You sack of crap. If I ever find you, I'll scalp you. You curly on my... So that's what Michael wrote to him. So I think it's ultimately better to let him go, um, because it does show that Michael has changed as a person. Um, uh, but let me know what you guys think down below. So Dr. Friedlander will also send you one final message. I actually didn't, um, uh, didn't realize, but he says this when you reply to him. Let go of that anger. 
It really is beneath you, your friend Isaiah. P.S. In case you're wondering, the girl was exquisite. I'm going to a par party tonight full of other celebrities. The air up here on top of the great mountain we call society is wonderful. I miss her conversations, Michael, but I feel I found my place. Isaiah Friedlander. Oh, man. Oh, man. So basically what's happened is that Dr. Friedlander has gotten famous, apparently from his TV show, and so he's, it looks like he's running that rehab clinic, and he's also um, uh, selling some kind of pharmaceutical drugs. He's probably trying to sell the drugs as some kind of therapy treatment, that's probably what he's doing, but we know that Dr. Friedlander does not care about actually helping patients. Dr. Friedlander is actually one of the biggest scumbags in GTA 5, and I actually consider him the biggest scumbag in the entire game, even worse than Devin Weston. Now, why? Because Devin Weston, even though, you know, he is a scumbag that he ripped Michael off and he did try to have Michael killed, the reason I consider, you know, uh, the reason I consider Dr. Friedlander a bigger scumbag is because Dr. Friedlander takes a job as a therapist. It's a job meant to help people, but he doesn't care about helping people. He's just in it for the money, and that's like one of the worst possible people that you can have as a therapist. So we know he doesn't care for his patients at all. He just cares about profits. That's all he cares about. So it'll be interesting to see uh, where he's at. He's gotten famous from his you know TV show apparently now, and he's running his own clinic. So let me know what you guys think down below of the story. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, do drop a like. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day.